Hi guys, Swans Away this year, back again for another video and today, I didn't do this last season but I've seen a lot of other vloggers and YouTubers do this and I really wanted to do it this season especially and that's ranking championship home kits. Now there's some good kits in here, there's some horrendous kits, there's some average looking kits so it's a real range of mix in the championship and uh, I'll be giving my opinion. If I do rate your club though uh, lower than you expected, um, please don't drop a dislike because I need all the likes as possible but uh, just let me know what you think of your kit. So it's just my opinion. Um, there's no wrong answers and no right answers. So it's just my opinion. So here's the categories for this tier list. So we've got amazing, we've got decent, average, bad, and awful. There's at least one club in every category, so there's gonna be no categories for spare. So this video should be very good. If you do enjoy the video though, please hit a like button, comment, subscribe. And if you do wanna see me ranking the Championship Away kits, then we will have to hit 80 likes, 80 likes, and I'll be doing another one of these, but for the away kits. So let's get into it. So starting off in alphabetical order, we're going on to Barnsley. Now Barnsley's got a very nice kit. I really like the uh, bill, like the house, uh, next to the investment room, uh, really nice house outline on the kit. The sponsor looks really neat as well. Really do like this kit, to be honest. Bands have done a very good job here. Uh, very clean kit as well. Uh, if I were a Swansea supporter or, uh, you know, I didn't like football, then this kit would be going smart. It's a very smart kit. So, Barnsley, I'll put you in decent. Very, very nice strip. Now, Birmingham. Mm, I'm not too sure about this one. It looks like an Ipswich Town shirt, to be honest with you. I really do not like the massive white sleeves on the uh, on the side. There's, like, nothing there. It's a bit boring on the sleeve, especially. I kind of like the pattern in the middle with a few diamonds and... You know, the markings in that, that's okay. Uh, the knit tick's okay. The, I like the sponsor as well. The University Hospitals, Birmingham Charity, that's obviously good. I'm going to put this on average just because it looks too much like an Ipswich Town shirt. And I think, it's yeah, it's just average. So sorry, Birmingham fans. It's, you know, I'm looking at it now and it's not too bad, but I think they still have a better kits in the championship. Blackburn Rovers. Now, this is a very, very old school looking kit. Really do like the look of this. It's old school, like I said. One sleeve is blue, the other is white. That's a very good job. I really do like that. And uh, one side's blue and white, and the other side's blue and white as well. So they've mixed and matched there. Really do like that. Very smart sponsor as well. The sponsor goes really well with this kit. It's going to have to go in decent. It's a very, very nice kit. So now on to Bournemouth, obviously former Premier League club. And I'll tell you all, this kit, this Premier League standard, what a wonderful kit this is. The red and black fading is really, really nice. The sponsor goes well with it. So it's such a nice kit. The only downfall was that Nathan Ake was uh, modelling it, and obviously he left. Really do like this kit. The sponsor looks good. I like the mansion on the side of the sleeve as well. The pattern in the middle of fading, and then it just goes back outline to the red and black. Really do like this, and this is the first kit, which is going in amazing. Bournemouth, even though they have dropped out of the championship, their kit is still Premier League quality. On to Brentford, obviously playoff finalists last season where they didn't win the playoffs. Unlucky Thomas Frank. Um, not a massive fan of this kit, to be honest. I do not like the black sponsor in the middle. I don't think it gives the best, you know, outline of it or the look of it. Don't like that, to be honest. I think another colour should have been added to that. Can't really... I can't really see the best of this kit. You know, red and white, you can get a lot of good red and white kits. You know, we've seen some Sunderland kits over the years which have been quite good. There's a lot of red and white teams out there, which, you know, it's pretty easy colour to get a good kit. But I think, you know, Brentford, they've done okay. Um, I'm slandering it, but the more I'm looking at it now, it's actually decent. It's just a sponsor, which is ruining it for me. But apart from the sponsor, it's a really, really nice kit. You know, the white the white and red lines, and then there's like little black lines in between them all. That's really too nice. I like the collar as well. Uh, black, little black lines on the collar as well. Do you know what? I know I slandered it a little bit, but I'm looking at it now. And if I take the sponsor away, that's a really nice kit. So... Sponsor aside, I'm going to put that on decent. It's not too bad. Now, Bristol City actually have not released a kit, but there's been some leaked photos, and I believe this is the kit. So sorry for the poor quality, but it's the only photo I could find on the internet, and I can't wait any longer because Bristol City are taking the mix. So out of this poor quality photo, you can see but there's better photos on Google, but I couldn't find it or they couldn't save it from my phone. Um, the mansion bet is quite nice, to be honest. I do like the mansion bet. I believe... Well, sorry. Yeah, it is mansion bet. Uh, the badge stands out quite well, and they've got arrows coming down the side. It's decent. The only problem is with this kit, though, it's a bit plain at the bottom. You know, like this kit at the back, actually. There's just nothing on the bottom. 
so they could have done a lot lot more with that this is a leak though so it's not the official photo and it probably will look better in other photos for so for now i'm gonna put it in average just because it's just a bottom it's just plain now on the cardiff city now everyone's gonna call me biased during stuff like that but just look at the sponsor malaysia burjaya i probably pronounced that second thing wrong but malaysia we're sponsored by the University in Swansea. You can tell who the Pride of Wales are. But that's my dig anyway. Do not like the sponsor. Um, again, last season, Cardiff had like white on their sleeves. And that looked okay. They've got no white this time. They've got like a light blue. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of this kit. I know people call me biased. But it's a poor kit. It's a very poor kit. I'm going to put it in bad. Not a fan. <laughs> now on the Corbin... <laughs> Under Coventry, now this is going to cause a lot of debate. There's a lot of people which will like this kit, a lot of people will hate it. Now, the bottom is very, very controversial. I do not know what's going on with the bottom, but it kind of looks okay. It does kind of look okay, um, but it's not amazing, is it, that thing? The light blue is nice, obviously, Coventry officially with light blue, so it's not done too bad there. The Boyle Sports is decent, it goes well with the kit. Sky Blue Army, I do like that above the neck. It's just the bottom. I'm not a huge fan of it. So, apart from the bottom, that would be one of the top up there with Bournemouth. But, and after an average, just the bottom ruins it completely. Now, on to Derby County. You know, Derby have gone for a pretty simplistic look this season. Um, it's quite simple, but sometimes simple kits work. And this works. You know, around the neck, they've got one black line there and a black line going there. And it's just left it white. I do like this. Well, I don't like the sponsor because it's gambling and stuff like that. But it does look nice in the shirt. The Derby badge looks quite neat as well. It's just white and black. No other colours on it. A lot of people will criticise me for this. I go and put it decent. It's pretty simple, but it's nice. They've not overdone it. I know the bottom. I was complaining about one of the other teams which didn't have it. But on a kit like this, you can't really do much wrong with it. Simple kit. Like it. Derby County, you're going in decent. Huddersfield Town. Again, they've got the Save the Shirt sponsor with no sponsor on it. Um, you've got to respect having a no sponsor, so it's definitely not going to be in uh, the low categories anyway. You've got to respect that. Kind of looks like a pyjama top, though. It does kind of look like a pyjama top. Take the badge and the umbro away. You're wearing that to bed. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just feel fancy. It just looks like a pyjama top. Uh, I know you don't have a sponsor, but I'm not a huge fan. It's going to go on average. Kind of done you a few favours there, because I could have put that a lot lower. But no sponsor, you go up a bit, but... Looks like a pyjama top. Luton Town. And now, there's not much wrong with this kit, to be fair. It's pretty... It's bright orange, umbro. JB Developments. I like the lines under the developments bit as well. It's pretty simple, again. But it looks decent, to be honest. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan of... Again, one sleeve has got, like, a blue. And the other one just has orange. I think it would have gone... I think it would have been a lot better if they had two blues. Instead of just one blue. So, it's going to go on average. But, to be fair, it's a good average. Not a bad average. Now on to Middlesbrough, what a lovely kit this is, they've done a great job here Hummel, really do like this kit, the dark red is really really nice, usually they go for more of a bright red but they've gone for a dark red this year and it does look really really nice, I like the white box from the sponsor as well, that gives a sponsor standing out more which is good for obviously them if they want to get some money and stuff like that, the colour the colour though, the colour but there on the neck, mm, if, I went, if I was red, It'd go in amazing, but that little black thing going down the neck, don't like that. So it's going to go in decent, but if they didn't have that, it'd go in the top category. So Middlesbrough do have a nice kit this year. Millwall, Husky Chocolate, absolutely love that sponsor. They had it last year as well. The badge does really well in this kit, obviously with the white outline saying Millwall Football Club. It goes really well with this kit. It's a nice kit, to be honest. Again, at the bottom, it's not too simplistic. They've got some lines going down, which is always nice to see. Um... It's quite simple, but it's a nice element to it. The neck and the uh, sh sleeves on the uh, side, uh, they're all matching, which is good. It's going to go in decent. Really, really smart kit, this. Norwich City. Now, I am usually a big fan of Norwich City. They've got some bright colours. It's usually yellow and green. Not a massive fan of their kit this year. I think it should be having... I think I think there should be more green in it, to be honest. I'm not sure about the daff a bit. There's just nothing around there. I know there's a little D above it, um, but... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this, to be honest, guys. Norwich should be doing better than this, to be honest. It's it's not too bad, but it's not brilliant. It's going to go on average. It's, I'm just a little bit disappointed. I want a bit more green on that kit. 
Uh, usually green and yellow does well. We've seen the last couple of years in the, well, when Norwich in the Premier League last year, they're a really nice kit, but this year, you can see why they're down in the championship with that kit. Nottingham Forest, really like this home shirt, to be honest. Uh, the sleeves are nice with two red lines and the white outline at the top. Obviously, this, uh, the neck sleeve as well um, has that uh, mark as well. Badge is nice. Football index, I really do like that. Um, like the percentage going up, I think that's pretty smart. I know QP have a very, very similar kit to this, but it's going to go in decent. Really do like this. It's quite smart as well. Preston North End. What a kit, Preston. I love the collar. Absolutely love the collar. It's like a polo shirt, but then going into a t-shirt. Lovely. It's like an old school element to it. The 32 red with the red writing is superb. The Nike tick's lovely. The Preston badge stands out well. The sleeves are lovely. Amazing. It's up there with Bournemouth for me. What a lovely kit that is. If I, like I was saying, if I'm not a football fan, I'd wear that shirt out. It's a lovely strip. Nike have done a great job there. What a lovely shirt that is. Amazing. Queen's Park Rangers. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTubers and a lot of vloggers slag this kit off, but I think it's a nice kit. Um, you know, it's white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, which is pretty simplistic for QPR. Then they've also got football in text like Northern Forest with a red, right, and I think that goes well. Uh, the sleeves and the neck sleeves, uh, they've got red and white lines which is quite nice goes well with the kit it's a decent kit it's a very decent kit to be fair now Redding Redding usually mid table club don't do too much but I'll tell you what this kit is superb the sleeves really not simplistic they've done a lot of uh, work on that that looks nice I like the uh, I can't say the sponsor because uh, I can't read it but it does look nice in a dark blue uh, they've also got white blue white blue it's very nice it's decent red and badge looks really nice in this kit as well it's not too bad it's a very decent kit Rotherham now the patterns on this is absolutely lovely I just love the like diamond shape all on the kit uh, the sleeves are plain white but it goes well because all the kits are red the badge goes well considering it's all red as well. Considering that's red again. Puma stands up really nice. I'm going to say, guys, this is an amazing kit. Lovely job from Raw from also getting promoted last season. Really like this kit again. Really nice look on there. A little bit simple at the bottom, but like I was saying, I've got Dali. Sometimes simple is the best you can do. And, you know, the diamond shape just get, gets this to amazing category. Lovely little kit. Sheffield Wednesday now. Not a huge fan of it. It looks purple and white, and I'm sure Chevy Wins is supposed to be officiated in blue and white. So I'm not sure whoever designed this kit is colorblind or something like that. It's an awful kit. I'm not going to put it in the awful category, I've put it in the bad category. No sponsor, which is good, which is why it's not going in the bottom category, but it just looks purple. Blue and white, Chevy Wins is supposed to be officiated with, and it looks purple. Poor. Stoke City now. The more I look at this kit, the more I like it. The Bet365 is this nice outline in there. I like the outline on the kit. Uh, the Stoke badge is all right. I like the sponsor as well. Again, I think they could have done a little bit more on the bottom, like the Raw from kit maybe, add a few patterns. It's a little bit dull towards the bottom, but the top is nice. So I'm going to put an average. It's the bottom and the sleeves, again, nothing really on it. Like I was saying, sometimes simple kits are the best. But when you've got a red and white kit, similar to Raw from, you've got to be doing a lot more. And, you know, Stoke Big Club should be having a better kit than that. I want the Swansea comment for the biased comments here, but it is a nice kit. A lot of people are going to disagree with me, and obviously my club is Swansea, as you can see up there. You might call me deluded, biased, don't really care. It's a nice kit. I don't care what you're saying. It's nice to have not have a betting sponsor uh, on the shirt as well. All the kids can wear the same shirt as their players or the idols which is really good usually when you have a betting sponsor the kids can't wear the shirt so they've just got a plain shirt without the betty so it'd just be like that really nice really nice dots on the bottom by the way it's like black fading to light black it's really nice the sleeves are following the same pattern as well it's a decent kit it is a decent kit if i'm doing away kits video guys you get 80 likes i will not be biased on that one because i do not like the away kit but the home kit is a very decent kit watford Fingers crossed you don't take Matt Grimes from us, but that kit is absolutely wonderful. The amount of effort and design have gone into this kit. You know, compare this kit to a Stoke or a Sheffield Wednesday. Compare this to Sheffield Wednesday kit. So much design and effort's gone into this. I love the Watford badge standing out, all the lines going towards it. The sponsor looks really neat as well. I like 
I believe it's Korean writing under the sportsbet.io. I believe it's Korean writing. I'm not too sure though. Um, really like that. It's an amazing kit. The sleeves are wonderful as well. This is definitely my favorite kit in the championship. Absolutely amazing. On to the last one on the video, and this kit makes me sleepy. They're sponsored by a bloody bedding company, for God's sake, Dreams. And this kit is very boring. It's awful. You know, you've got a little pink line. I don't know where that pink line's come from. I know it's from their sponsor, but it just looks horrendous. The bed specialists. This kit is making me boring. It's making me sleepy. I'm sorry, Wickham fans. You've come up to the championship, but with kits like that, sure. It's awful. It's just an awful kit. It's like a cross. Jesus would be proud of that. And then they got Wickham badge, nothing there. They got sponsor, nothing there. The bed's up. It's just awful. Get rid of it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please hit a like button, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Let me know what is your favourite kit in the championship and your worst home kit in the championship. Favourite for me is definitely Watford's home kit. And the worst is definitely Wickham's uh, home kit. That's awful. So let me know what you think of the kits. And I'll see you in the next video. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And remember, 80 likes, and I'll do an away one. See you guys next time. I need a one more chance. Oh, baby, let me show.